YouTube, what's good y'all? I'm back with another martial law. This one I see way too much amongst my fellow designers. So if you're easily offended, you may want to skip this one because I'm about to hurt some feelings. You're a moron, so's your mother. Stop budget shaming clients, potential clients, prospects, whoever, just stop it. You've seen the memes, specifically the client budget versus client expectation memes. Look, they're funny, they are. And if you know me personally, you know I'm a goofball, so by no means am I the fun police. But, and this is a big but, it's costing you money. Let me show you how. First, you need to ask yourself who you're speaking to on your social media, because that will determine what language you speak. When you post memes like that, you're not speaking to high paying clients, clients who really value what you do and have the means to pay you what you're worth. But first, you've gotta be worth what you charge. And posting stuff like that says that you're not. When you post stuff like that, you're speaking to other designers who can relate. So when a high paying client comes across your profile and you're not speaking to them, they interpret that language like this. I don't serve you. I don't even know where to find my ideal clients. I don't have experience serving clients like you. I don't even charge a lot because I deal with low budget clients. I'm cheap and I do cheap, low value work. I'm not suited to solve your level of problems. And I've got time to be on social media cracking jokes. And none of that may be the case, but it definitely comes off like that. And it shows that you don't know how to educate your clients to either lower their expectations to meet their budget or raise their budget to meet their expectations. And a lot of the time, potential clients just don't know. So I'm not saying don't enjoy it, don't laugh, but you should be focused on not having those types of clients. So just watch your language. Higher paying clients vibrate on a higher frequency. There's different energy. So the energy you put out is the energy you get back. So stop complaining. If you're like, bruh, this is on my personal feed. It ain't that serious. Listen, clients do their research, especially high paying clients. They're not looking for entertainment. They're looking to see if you can solve their problem at a high level better than any alternative. So if you're like, all right, Marshall, I got it. I get you, you made your point. What do I do now? How do I find higher paying clients? And how do I keep my clients from expecting way more than they're paying for or what their prospective budget allows? That's a topic for another video. So we'll leave it at that. And if you found value in this, please drop a comment, drop a like, and please, please share this with other designers in your network. I sincerely appreciate it and I bet they will too. All right, y'all, I'm out, peace.